guys, I just I just have to say it again. The NBA offseason is lit, okay? We have Woj on here. Woj reported the Memphis Grizzlies have traded Mike Conley to the Utah Jazz. So I'm just going to read his tweet here, his report, because there's kind of a lot of pieces in this trade. Well, not really, but um, I'm not, I don't have a great memory. So the Grizzlies traded Mike Conley to Utah for Grayson Allen, Kyle Korver, Jay Crowder, the 23rd pick in the draft this year, and a future first rounder. Boom. So pretty sure we all know who the Grizzlies are drafting, right? I don't know why there's like a southern accent. Um, I'm pretty sure we all know who the Grizzlies are drafting, obviously. Ja Morant is going to be there for the Grizzlies, and the discussion before this trade was, you know, um, Grizzlies kind of have to trade uh, Mike Conley, then he's getting a lot of money if they're going to draft a young point guard, and uh, that's just what they did, and I think this is honestly a great fit for Mike Conley. This is a team in the West that has been in the playoffs that can make a real run in it uh, this year with the injuries to the Warriors. I mean, the West is, you know, pretty open this year with the injuries to the Warriors. And, I mean, some people might say, oh, the Lakers, you know, like, they're going to run away with it. I don't know about that depth issues there. Obviously, there's a lot of time left in free agency in the offseason. I mean, free agency hasn't even started yet for the Lakers, so we'll see what they do there. But honestly, as of right now, it's anyone's game in the West, in my opinion. And pairing him up with Donovan Mitchell, you know, Rudy Gobert, that team could make a real run in the West. Someone even commented that below one of my videos um, a few weeks ago before this trade happened. You know, Donovan Mitchell going into his third year, he could take really big strides this year. So yes, this trade is great for both the Jazz and Mike Conley as he goes to a team that's a competitor. The Jazz get a player that's really going to help propel them to be a real, real, real contender in the West. But it's also a great trade for the Grizzlies as they are a young team, you know, who have been in the lottery um, a lot recently, and they get rid of this contract of an older point guard, who's a good point guard still, but an older one, they get rid of his big contract and are able to draft a young, dynamic point guard to add on with guys like Jaron Jackson Jr. So it works out for them too, and they get, the, they get picks and they get young players, um, uh, or a young player like Grayson Allen in return, and the picks are also big. They get another first rounder. Oh, I said almost said tomorrow night, Thursday night. It's Tuesday right now. No, wait, it's, it is tomorrow. Shoot, it's Wednesday right now. My days are messed up. Yes, tomorrow night they get another pick. So they are going to continue to build up their young roster. And yeah, it's just a good trade, I feel, for both teams. Both teams satisfied needs and yeah, I don't think there's like a clear-cut winner and loser. I don't think anyone got robbed here. I think both teams accomplished what they needed to do. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Peace out.